Uh, so here's an interesting question from Rose Petal. Do you believe in witchcraft? I'll let you answer first. Okay. I think there's a very good video that I'll probably have to find for you at some point um, from Frank Turek. Um, he's a, a apologist of mine that I like a lot. And he makes, makes the distinction between believing in things and believing that things. So there's a lot of people that believe that God exists. So what? But there's a lot of people also that believe in God. And that's, that is the distinction. That's the important thing that makes you a believer. Um, for witchcraft, I believe that witchcraft exists. And I think that's probably what you're getting at in your question. I believe that witchcraft does exist. Absolutely. I think that there's all kinds of stuff that you can do with witchcraft. But I also think that it's summoning demons. I think you shouldn't believe in witchcraft. You shouldn't put your hope in it. Your faith should not be found in witchcraft. And as a Christian, I would say that your faith is found in Jesus Christ. Excellent, excellent. And I'll just add to that a little because I'm pretty sure she's asking whether you believe that witchcraft is possible, um, mm -hmm. which is yeah. that important distinction you made. And I, I think you just have to look at the Exodus account where the magicians of Pharaoh were able to reproduce some of the mm -hmm. signs of Moses and not yeah. others. So it, it exists to a limit, right? The, that right. the, right. Uh, but by calling on dark forces, by calling on demons, you are able to do some things that could not be done naturally, you know, by human effort alone. Uh, mm. But you can't do everything. The, there's a, there's a difference between a demon who has more ability than a human and God who is all powerful. Right. And only God can work a true miracle where he violates the, the laws of nature. Now, some things may appear miraculous or appear like magic to us because they're beyond our abilities, but they're not right. on the same level as what God can do. I wrote down another scripture uh, reference that I was going to use later, but it's actually really relevant right now. It's Luke 10, 17 to 20. I'm just going to read the first verse and it says, and this is when Jesus sent out the 72 people in pairs to go and disciple um, the nations. And they said, uh, the 72 returned with joy and said, Lord, even the demons submit to us in your name. Pretty cut and dry right there. Like the demons exist. The demons are possible. They have power, but they submit to people in the name of Christ. 